Thanks to Kohl's for sponsoring this video. Forget about hot girl summer, even though it is literally 110 degrees outside. This summer, we're doing suburban Texan dad summer. It is so liberating. Oh yes, I'm talking about sensible shoes, getting excited for the little things, getting chased by the same wasp. I also love putting on my favorite cowboy boots, which are bedazzled to perfection. These are things that we celebrate in slow living down south. I love cooking lately. I love going on the walk down the street where, well, there really is no sidewalk. It just stops and then you see a deer, maybe. I love talking to the elderly woman at the nail shop. You know what I also love? Turning this investment house into a cozy, wonderful home that someone else will be lucky to live in. Got the stamp touch, you see? But we'll talk about that later because this video is sponsored by Kohl's and I will show you how I've made it really cute and cozy and how I've learned how to live slower because as you know, I've only lived with roommates prior and really tiny studios. So I got an opportunity to kind of spread out, try new things, really just nestle myself into a different environment. First, I want to talk to you about my desire to keep things simple and the mistakes that I've made in the past. Because again, I have told you in the last video that my life has flipped completely from what it was before. I didn't think at age 26 that I would be living by myself in a giant house in Texas, making YouTube videos, talking to a spatula for a living, okay? And I've been very transparent, honestly, probably too transparent at some points about my lifestyle. And if you appreciate the transparency, you know that lots of things are thrown in my direction. Lots of money, lots of opportunity, lots of new people. It's just overwhelming and it's very easy to get sucked into it and then how do I put it? Live a life of luxury, which we do truly live. I'm very blessed, thank you, thank you. But it takes a strong person to know when to say no, this is not good for me. Whether it's, you know, like I just explained, having a surplus of money all of a sudden, or views, or simply just too much stuff. Knowing when to say no, this is not good for me. Like social media, for example. I admit that I wasted a lot of time trying to adhere lately for some reason, to adhere to a certain aesthetic. Do you know what I mean? Social media has this obsession with aesthetics. Like there's all these trendy, funny names. There's clean girl aesthetic. Like what does that mean? What, is someone else dirty girl? Do they not bathe? I don't understand. And then there's, what's the other one? There's night lux aesthetic. I understand these from an artistic point of view, making a mood board or something. But the problem is when you try to do this in real life, it gets really complicated because guess what? We are all multifaceted people. We are not meant to, first of all, consume a bunch of videos very quickly at that rate. But two, we are not meant to stick to one thing and one thing only. Like this channel, for example, it has changed so much. I have changed so much. I started off being just a college dropout, living at home, not knowing what I was doing, being very lost. And I thought I was going to retire in the military. I thought that I would be married to this guy named Krusty Tommy. Hey, Krusty Tommy. I'm so glad that didn't happen. But what if it did happen? I'm just glad that I had an open mind to not be so rigid in my ideas because back then I thought I'm going to be in the military, I'm going to stay in it forever, and I'm going to work this very specific job doing avionics, and I'm just going to work forever and ever and ever at this company if I don't retire in that, and then I'm going to get a pension and then, you know, just live in LA and just not expand and do something else or consider something else. So it doesn't make any sense for me to waste time trying to adhere to a certain lifestyle because if you do that, you're gonna end up just exhausting yourself and being a bit disappointed if it doesn't work out. When these sorts of aesthetics and lifestyles and everything got recommended to me, I had to honestly press not interested, not interested or like don't recommend to me several times because I started to look at my own life and I thought that I was boring. During 2020, when I started earning more money and had more flexibility with my life, I started experimenting with fashion, which is good, good. Like I did not like my clothes before. It was just very California girl, just hoodies, sweatpants. I'm glad that I've tried new things, okay? But I started to think 
that my lifestyle was boring or that my apartment was ugly because all these people online have these gorgeous, gorgeous apartments and high rises and then they have the perfect furniture to match, all new stuff that most people just can't afford. Now, I know what you're thinking, well, wow, look at you, savior, uh, with my plant and my stainless steel fridge, yes. But I'm just saying, this wasn't part of my home search. I wasn't thinking I need brand new, shiny, shiny, shiny. It needs to look like this because, oh, because this girl in this video had this. I just wanted a place to call home temporarily. What I'm trying to say is, consuming content about other people's lives when they make it look so, so, so perfect can be very damaging in my opinion. It caused me to spiral into this very extreme minimalism phase, for example, which I'm sure you remember, it's kind of embarrassing. During like 2021, when I was living in Florida, my home looked like a hospital or your tax office, your local tax office, or DMV even. Now that's, that's being generous. It was a little bit cuter than DMV, but it was pretty bad. And it's because I wasn't being original. I was trying so hard to adhere to this thing. Now, I just don't care anymore. I'm not too much this, not too much that. I know when to consume and when to say this is too much for myself. I just embrace just eh, just the eh lifestyle. I love that for me. When I was in my extreme minimalism phase, or maybe you're watching this and you're that extreme clean girl phase right now, I'm trying to keep up with these green juices and your hot girl walks and looking really perfect every single day and just looking at your, you know, your pouch wondering why am I bloated because the girls online aren't bloated. I don't understand what's going on. Why am I breaking out? Just know that you deserve to be at peace. I found my peace and I'm not saying you have to come down south and live this lifestyle to find that peace, but you have to find out what works for me, what doesn't. When do I feel most happy? So that's how I live intentionally, but my favorite thing to do lately is cooking. So don't get me started. Do you want to get me started? Okay, let's get me started. We need to discuss this KitchenAid air fryer oven. I have been posting about it nonstop on my Instagram story. As you know, the air fryer is the hottest item of the year. Whether you like to cook or not, everyone loves this thing. You know why? Because it helps lazy cooks. And it's literally just a miniature oven, but it's not just a miniature oven. Don't you say that. Everyone loves the air fryer for some reason over the past two years. And I didn't understand why, because I, I just didn't know what it did until I moved down south. I got really comfy. I have this beautiful, custom, gorgeous kitchen here. Now I like cooking. So now I understand why people like the air fryer. When you try to make things like, you know, salmon, that's my favorite thing. So I'm gonna show you guys making my salmon here. The air fryer feature gets whatever you put in there crispy on top, but still soft and you know tender inside. Nice. Mm -hmm. This is the new and improved Stamp Fry. Oh my goodness, this salmon. I have never been able to cook anything like this and have it taste better than my favorite restaurant. I just put on the air fryer, it automatically puts it to about 15 or 16 minutes. It's you can just press stop if it's too much or too little, you can adjust it. This is so much better than using a full size oven because the mess you make and then, or you know, if you're, you're doing it on the pan like I normally do, you have to go clean the pan. I will be moving to a smaller, smaller place, as you know, in New York City. Whatever I cook is the scent of the month when you're in a smaller space. I don't want that. This keeps the smell contained. It is so easy to clean. So if you don't like cooking, but you want to save money and live more slowly and enjoy every meal and your gratitude, get an air fryer. Another fine piece of technology. Behold, the professional Ninja Blender. I do not like to waste money. Personally, if I were you, I would consider buying a blender, especially if you're like me and you waste a lot of money on acai bowls. Why give those businesses your money when you can just literally open up your own ice cream parlor or acai shop? You can make ice cream with this. Did you know that? I have two more items I would like to show you from Kohl's. First, my favorite brand ever. If you know, you know, Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer, you know, I, <laughs> How would I describe my home taste? Well, my friend Carol, hey Carol, said, Kelly, you have a Hamptons 
preppy thing going for you, but then you have Texas intrusive thoughts. I said, you are so right. Eddie Bauer has always been my favorite brand, so I feel so lucky that I'm working with Kohl's on this to have this, oh, it's so soft. I cannot wait to throw it on my bed. Seriously, it feels like a pair of sweatpants, but I just love these so much because they're gonna brighten up my room. And my final item I would like to show you, an essential, which I think every single one of you needs to get if you're watching this from Texas or somewhere equally as hot. An icy cold Columbia pillow. Oops, this way. This is actually cool to the touch. I can feel how cool it is just through the bag. When I laid my head on this, I'll show you guys here. I instantly felt the cooling relief. It just gives a new meaning to that. Are we still cool? Like the other side of the pillow? Like, no, 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 like both sides of the pillow because this pillow is luxurious. Also check out this high quality cutting board. I am finally a chef and I deserve a real cutting board. Not only can I use this to dice things, but I will take this to Central Park to go have picnics with friends because I actually have friends in New York City. Woo! And finally, I have a tote bag from Kohl's that actually fits everything from my laptop to my cameras, to my hard drive, to water bottles. I could just, I could put myself in there, honestly. It's so spacious, but it still is stylish and functional. This is from Draper James RSVP. You gotta go check it out. So if you also want to jazz up your home with amazing pieces and the greatest assortment ever for your casual, slow living lifestyle or more of a, you know, material girl summer, go to Kohl's.com to shop. You can shop at Kohl's in store or online for all of your needs for the whole family or just little old me because you know I am on the go. I am in Texas today. I'll be in New York City this weekend. I will probably be in Canada the following. I need to get outside the country. So that is just a piece of how I embrace my slow living lifestyle. I really like being home now. I am probably a homebody. At first I thought it was a bad thing, but it's not. That means that you're comfortable in your space. You don't need other people to entertain you. I don't, I don't. Look at me, I'm a one woman act out here. For four years straight, a one woman act. I know how to create peace in my life, how to cultivate relationships, and most importantly, how to make myself happy. One of the things that I really like to do is get on a mat and just stretch. I mean, it doesn't have to be like circus contortion necessarily, disregard me, that's just me. Personally, I like to just bend in half. Set 10 minutes aside to do a simple stretch. I feel opened up. <sighs> ready to be a sponge to the world and learn something new. I seriously have this uplifting feeling when I stretch in the morning and I don't do it every day. Admittedly, I need to. I've been slipping. There's no excuse. I was about to say an excuse. Ah, there was no excuse because you know what I do? I'll spend 10 minutes on social media, scrolling at funny videos, cracking up. And then I get that alert saying, you've been on for more than 40 minutes. And how did that happen? If you can scroll, on social media, or you're watching this video right now, procrastinating to go somewhere, you can set aside 10 minutes to go stretch. You can. Something else that I've been doing, and maybe you wanna try this and you just didn't know how to, figure skating. You should take figure skating lessons. This is not sponsored at all by any sort of figure skating company. I am just a washed up athlete trying to tell you to find a cute hobby that is somewhat reasonably affordable and brings you joy and you can learn something new. Figure skating is very elegant. So I do ice dance, it's a little bit different. Uh, I'm becoming that, not figure skater much. I want to do performances and actually my coach and I have this goal right now where it's to get me competing, get me certified in the ice dance section. And But it makes me feel good to go here every other day. We just go to the Galleria sometimes. And if you're there, you see me say hello or howdy, howdy. If you see me in Texas when I come back, You'll see us in the middle there, just learning new moves, learning new pieces. It's so fun. And I think what I like most about it is that I feel a sense of fulfillment from it because unlike being a kid, I'm responsible. I'm paying for this out of pocket. So if I don't learn something, then something's wrong. But also if I don't like it anymore, then I can just stop and walk away and find something else that brings me joy. That is a huge part of my lifestyle and being very intentional with the time in my day. I use a planner, I write it out, stretch in the morning, make breakfast, always use my hands every single day and make something, even if it's ugly. Ugly things taste the best. Ugly things sometimes are the best. I make my sad little scrambled eggs every day and they bring me so much joy. Anywho, I can talk all day long about how much I love figure skating and attempting to go on walks out here, even though there are no sidewalks. Anyway, by moving all across the US, 
and figuring out so many different versions of me, which is the city girl. Oh, I like being in the city. Oh, I like being in Florida. I like living by the beach. I've had the pleasure to get to know myself through the years. And I know one thing, which is that I really enjoy living and just taking in every single minute of the day because we are not here forever. I am grateful right now to be sitting here talking to my camera alone at 9.30 p.m., which is kind of weird. I enjoy the woman at the fast food place who made my food for me. Well, she put the food to the, to, from the freezer to the microwave, whatever. We love her. I appreciate her. This video is gonna go on forever. See, I did it again. This was supposed to be short. Okay, goodbye, goodbye, good. We have to go. I will talk forever if I just sit here, but thank you for watching. Go to Kohl's. Thanks to Kohl's for sponsoring this video. Mm -hmm.